Welcome, if it's your first time. I am always, always happy to have you. Let's do just a quick rundown of what I've been using for the last few weeks. I'm ready to get some new stuff in here. I'm like dreadfully bored of these things I've been using. As beautiful as they are, I'm ready for new stuff. So let's just go through really quickly some things that I have some thoughts about. I guess just starting up top with foundations. Okay, so I had a couple of foundations in rotation as usual. The first, the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Dewy. Uh, I love this stuff. It is, it's very, very dewy, as I have mentioned before. So keep that in mind. Probably not for people with all skin types, but I like how it looks on me. Gives great coverage, a little bit more coverage probably than what I like right now, but I do really enjoy this foundation. Now my Flower Get Real Serum Foundation, I'm wearing this today. So I know that I said I was gonna try and figure out like which shade <laughs> worked best for me. I have M1 and M2. To be really honest with you, I still don't know. Like when I swatch them, I can tell a subtle difference. But when they're actually on my face and applied, like this is such a sheer coverage that I can barely tell a difference. Like, I, I really hardly can. I don't know. I've worn them both separately. I've, like, mixed them together. And I like the way they look. So, I know I said I would probably get rid of one, but I'm definitely going to keep both of them. Sorry to disappoint. My primers, I'm wearing this today, the Wet n Wild Dewy. This is a beautiful dewy primer. Like, I love this. This is so lightweight. It doesn't have a scent, not that I can detect, but it has a lovely, lovely sheen to it. It is one of the most pretty dewy primers I have, like behind my Auric. This is really, really nice. And then I used this Say, product. This is in Star Glow. I mean, it was fine. I don't really have a whole lot to say about it. It is quite runny. I'll try to show you. There's a little bit. It's a very, very, um, like, it, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it, but it does also give a really, really beautiful sheen. I don't think it's quite I really don't think it's quite as nice as the Wet n Wild, but but I have enjoyed this. And this does have a little bit of a scent. I don't even know how to describe it. it smells kind of weird. It smells like it smells like honey almost. I don't know. I've liked it, but I'm glad I just got a mini. I'm glad I didn't get like the full size. My setting spray, I'm almost done with nothing really to say about it. I just wanted to try and show you my progress. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Let me tone the light down a little bit. Can you see it there? I'm gonna keep this in rotation until I am done with it because I like so desperately want to finish this. It's not even funny. Powder, used my Fenty powder and butter. Love it. Not a whole lot to say about it. You know I love it. Bronzers and blushes. I used my uh, Tower 28 bronzer pretty much every day. The Bronzino in West Coast. This is so pretty. I have to, I feel like I'm making pretty good progress there. There's a pretty good dip in the pan, but this is just lovely. It's so pretty on the skin. Just gives you a really, really beautiful glow. I almost feel like when it's on my skin, it has... Just a very slight, like, reddish undertone to it, which you know I love in a bronzer. Used my two Nabla bronzers. I have Soft Revenge and Dune. Love these. My blushes. Okay, so also we're Nabla. This is Truth. This is just so beautiful. This is just a pretty, like, pinky coral wearing it today. I pretty much wear this every day because the other blush I have in here from Nabla, 
I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm just kind of intimidated by. This is adults only. It's gorgeous. Like, look at that color. But I'm scared of it. Like, that's all it is. Nothing more, nothing less. I'm just intimidated by it. But I want so badly to use it because I don't have anything like this in my collection. But I just can't bring myself to use it yet. I'm, I'm a chicken shit. What can I say? I don't know if I should keep it in. I might keep it in for another rotation. We'll see. Because I really want to use it. <laughs> my highlighter. I only had my Danessa Myricks palette in here in light work. It's beautiful. I used pretty much every shade. I'm wearing Piece of Cake today. This sort of like pinky highlighter. But I typically, like I've mentioned before, I'll just take my brush and just dip it in a few different shades and use it. But... I've been I've been loving this really loving this I am kind of sad to put it back but lippies I used all of these I kept in the Fenty sorry for lips I was just saying I kept in this Fenty what is this ballerina blackout I did use this a couple times love this shade it's just a very very pretty swatch it for you it's just such a pretty pink like it's almost like a lavendery pink it's not a true like bubblegum pink it does look like there's a little bit of purple in there which I love used my Propa beauty lipstick in moxie I'm wearing this today I wore this several times this is so so beautiful you know how I feel about the Propa lipsticks uh, I will try to swatch this for you in a place where you'll be able to see it right there that's moxie lovely and then i also used this glossy fawn several times this is just a l'oreal very very pretty glossy neutral shade right there i'm actually wearing this over the proper beauty lipstick today i don't know why i just kind of wanted to see what they look like together palettes last but not least had my nikki tutorials and beauty bay palette in here i used this probably at least three times hopefully i was better about taking pictures of my makeup i don't even know this time around um i'm i like this palette i really really do i know that people either like it or they don't you know I I really enjoy it I finally used the blues in here I've never used the blues before this matte shade like this light blue shade right here I wasn't super impressed with plot twist it like barely even showed up on my lids but love it I'm wearing it today on my eyes I just think it's it's easy you know, I know the color story is kind of weird, but it is pretty easy to put together a look, uh, particularly like a neutral look. I really, really am drawn to these neutral shades here. These, this, all these neutral shimmers are beautiful. It's kind of just where I always go in this palette. And then if I want to do like a pop of this vibrant teal or blue um, or even like these pinks, I've done that before so I enjoy this still enjoying it um, used my melt Mary Jane several several times this is another one that I know recently has gotten some hit and miss reviews it's a hit for me I mean so far you know I talked a lot about this in my last video I just did a get ready with me with this I've used, I think, every single shade in here. Shimmers, mattes. I really like it. I will see how this does over time. Hopefully it doesn't get, you know, moldy, greasy. We'll keep an eye on it, but it's performed really well. It's performed really well for me. I don't mind a super textured shimmer. 
I really don't. I think these are gorgeous. And then a few other things. Um, I did not end up using my Moira little singles that I had in here. I quite honestly just didn't feel like it. I was not drawn to them, which maybe that's telling in and of itself. I put them in here because I just wasn't sure how I felt about them, wanted to get some more use out of them, but I really haven't even wanted to do that. So I don't know. I might just see if my daughters want these. I'm not like intent on using them. And then I had my Revlon. This is one of their So Fierce quads. This is the Big Bang. I only used this once, you guys, but it's pretty. I used um, every shade but the orange. It's, I mean, I don't know what to say. It's it's a nice drugstore quality palette. I do, I do like these quads. I have this and one other one. Um, the other one that I have, I like a little bit better than this one, but it's pretty. If you just want something easy, like every day, but with some fun shades in there, they have lots of different options in these, so check them out. And then I forgot to mention this. I did, I used this a couple times, my Fenty matchstick like foundation thing. I have the shade Bamboo. I really, really liked this. I was very, very skeptical. I, I, I haven't seen like too many reviews of these matchsticks, so I didn't know what to expect, but this is a damn near perfect shade match for me. This bamboo color, just swiped it right on. I blended it in with a brush. I really liked it. I thought the coverage was great. It wasn't full coverage. I would imagine you can probably build these up. I didn't try, but uh, really enjoyed this. So that's it. Let me, as usual, put this stuff back and we'll go to my collection. Okay, at my collection, um, I just wanted to show you really quickly. So I used to have on this wall, I don't know, you may or may not know, but I used to have just like necklaces hanging all over this wall. I recently did a huge declutter of my necklaces. I got rid of almost all of them and finally put this shelf up that has been needing to go up since Christmas time. I don't know that this is like exactly how I want it, but I just wanted to get some stuff up there. So looks a little bit different over here. Not a lot. Nothing has really changed with my, my actual storage, but let's get in to base products, uh, primers. I don't have anything new since the last time we were here just used that. Nothing's really been on my mind, I quite honestly. Um, I think I do a good job of rotating through all this stuff. Let's use this again. This is my Milani Bright Side Illuminating Primer. Let's give that a whirl. And then you know what I want to use, and I keep it up here so I hardly ever think about it, but this Pixie, whoops. This Pixie Vitamin C Priming Oil, I want to use this because I really do like this. But like I said, I just, I forget about it because it's up top. So let's actually pull that in this time. I'm going to keep my setting spray in there. I told you I'm, these are the only two other ones I have. I have not used them yet. I'm determined to get through that L'Oreal one before I open another one. Foundations. Um, mm hmm Again, I don't really have anything that I'm like dying to use. I don't want anything super full coverage. You know what I'm going to use? Where is it? I do want to get some use out of this. Let's use this. This is the Revlon Candid Glow. I have the shade 350, which is natural tan. I do want to get some use out of that. Uh, maybe one other one. Hmm. My True Match Lumi is always 
Lovely. Just used those. What else is back here? I don't want my NARS. That's pretty full coverage. Let's use this. Let's use my Maybelline Dream Radiant Liquid Hydrating Foundation. I have the shade 60 Sandy Beige. Let's do those two. Concealers are in here. I forgot to talk about my concealer, my Roundup. I've just had my new Pat McGrath in there, which I am absolutely loving. Want to keep that in there and use it some more. The only thing I think I'm going to pull in from this little guy is my NYX Brow Glue. I threw away the Revolution Soap Styler thing that I had because it was disgusting. So let's try this. That's brand new. I have not used it yet. That's, oh, powder. Oh, powder. Let's see. Let's do my Haley's. I only have a few. Where's my e.l.f. powder? You guys, I have no idea where my e.l.f. halo glow powder is. No felt like I was missing something. Where could that have gone? That's so weird. Okay, well, hmm. Don't know where that is, but uh, we'll use the Haley's. I haven't used that in a while. Um, bronzers. Mm. Let's use this. I, want, I do want to use my nude sticks. I want to get some use out of my cream products um, every rotation before they go bad. Um, what else is in here? Um, gosh, that thing is so bulky. Um, what else do I want to use? I've used my Milani. I haven't used my Fenty in a while, which I'm going to be honest with you, I am kind of missing. Um, okay, sorry, I had to rearrange that a little bit. Um, yeah, let's get some use out of this again. My Wet n Wild Sunset Strip Tease. Um, and I'm also gonna pull this in because this is brand new and I think I've only used it once since I got it. This is the Patrick Ta. This is the Patrick Ta, um cream contour and powder I got she's sculpted so bronzer options there blush what do I want to do honestly I have no idea let's do this I haven't used my bare minerals in a while this is the bare minerals bounce and blur I have mauve sunrise let's definitely do that um what else um let's definitely do i've been wanting to do my undone beauty this is a cream blush i have rosewood let's do that um maybe that's it for now or do i want a powder blush Hmm. Yeah, let's do something a little bit more neutral. I'm going to do my Essence um, Bespoke. I like that blush. Let's do that. Okay, moving on to highlight. What do I want to do? I definitely want to use this. I This is a product I have been hearing so much about for so long. I've always wanted it. It... I don't know why I didn't get it. It was it was like it was so affordable. And this is the Essence Pure Nude highlighter. I want to get some use out of that. Um, and let's pull in this too. I've been wanting to use this, the Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Light Wand. I have the medium shade. So let's do both of these. I may end up pulling in a face palette too. So might have several options there. My mascaras are staying the same. I still have the L'Oreal Air Volume, and then I have my Maybelline Sky High that I'm using. So nothing's changing there. Palettes. Um, I went ahead and I just let the little tiny decisions wheel decide my palettes for me. There's nothing that I've been 
dead set on using so I already did that I'll show you what was picked as far as that is concerned so here some lippies and all of my face palettes I just used that I really do need to get some use out of these um, okay let's just really have some options here so this is my la girl island hottie this is all blush and then this is full of um abh highlighters that i depotted from the nicole guerrero and their like sun dipped uh palettes so let's do both of these i really need to get better use out of my face palettes so let's just do that i don't <laughs> Hopefully all this stuff fits in my caboodle. Um, my son has found me. Um, lips, I never know really what to do. Let's do this. This is a Moira lip gloss that I got. I have not used yet. What shade did I get? Cheeky. This is cheeky. Let's do that. Um, lip glosses. I usually just come and grab one if I want one. Um, so I don't know that I'm gonna pull one in. Same with lip liners. Like if I need one, I'll just come and get one. So let's maybe just pick some lip sticks for now. Um, I really, really enjoyed using my <laughs> proper so let's maybe do more of that um i want to pull in a few i want to do dynamite i want to do prime time let's do victress this is a nude um i think that's good for now that's good for now that's four you know three lipsticks plus that gloss so let's let me show you what palettes i got and we'll get all this stuff put away hey guys editing me here I once again must have got like delete happy with my footage I f somehow deleted the clip showing you all the palettes that I picked so I'm so sorry you'll see them going into my caboodle but I picked well I didn't pick the wheel picked I got my BH love in London the Juvia's Place magic mini I got my Midas Smoky Glow and my ABH Jackie Ina. So super excited about that. Really, really good mix of like neutrals and colors, all palettes that I love. So that's what I'll be working with for the next few weeks. Sorry. <laughs> 